Welcome to Curie Electronics. This is the second part of ISAC 2017 Technician B Electronics question paper solution. Today we will solve question number 20 to 40. That is, we are going to solve question number question, question number 20 to 40. And this this questions are useful for your HFSC and URC and various ISRO centers exam preparation so uh, please share the video with your friends and please subscribe the channel we will go to the, with the question number 21 question number 21 the two table for an SR flip flop has how many valid entries how many valid entry for an SR flip flop see now we can draw this is our SR flip flop set and reset input and there will be q and q complement outputs s r q in the next state q n plus one whatever it is now now if you see if you give both are zero zero it will remain in the whatever the previous state it remains when reset equal to one we will get one here when set equal to 1 and reset equal to 0, we will get 0 as the output of SR flip flop. But 1 1 1 valid is invalid. This is forbidden. Forbidden in SR flip flop. So, how many valid entries are there in the SR flip flop? It has got 3 valid entries. 3 valid entries. So, the answer is option A. Question number 22. Which of the following is a universal flip-flop? JK flip-flop. This you have to remember. Try to remember this. Okay. This JK flip-flop is known as universal flip-flop. Question number 23. The number of interrupts that can be handled by 8051. See 8051 has got mainly timer zero interrupt. Timer zero interrupt interrupt That's the first one timer zero interrupt second one is the timer one interrupt it has got basic 8051 has got two timers timer two timer two interrupt timer one interrupt then it has got a external zero interrupt external zero interrupt and uh, external external one interrupt also there for 8051 and one more important interrupt is when it receives serial data to receive and transmit serial data there is one more interrupt is there that is the serial interrupt serial interrupt so how total how many are there how many interrupts are there for 8051 there are five interrupts five interrupts guys five interrupts you should remember this question can repeat question number 23 23 the number of two is two two cross one multiplexers are required to implement 64 is to one multiplexers this i will show you in a short way only short method only i will show you i'm not going to explain this question much so how do you do what is the what is the you have to see what is the multiplexer to be implemented that is, you have to write it like this 64 cross 1 you are you have to write it 64 minus 1 divided by number of multiplexes available it is 2 cross 1 you have to write 2 minus 1 63 divided by 1 which is equal to 63 you need 63 multiplexers to realize 63 2 cross 1 multiplexers to realize 64 is to 1. Now I'll assume that uh, whatever I have instead of 2 cross 1, I have 4 cross 1. How do I how many multiplexers required to realize it? So what is the thing I am going to realize? I need 64 is cross 1. You write it like 64 cross 1. So I will write it as and what I have 4 cross 1. 
So what I'll do? 64 minus 1 divided by 4 minus 1. If I do that, 63 divided by 3. How many what it will come? 2 times 21 multiplexes. I need if the multiplexes are 4 plus 1. You don't spend more time on these things, just use a shortcut. I'll put another video for detailed. Question number 25. Which of the following are the two main components of the CPU? Arithmetic logic unit and control unit. And control, these are the two important units. So the answer is option C control unit again, arithmetic unit. 26. Question number 26. A Microsoft Windows. What is Microsoft Windows? Is it an operating system? Is it a graphical program or word processing or database? Microsoft Windows is a OS. We will say OS, Windows XP, Windows 10, all these we say, you know, these are operating system. And uh, word processing. What is the Microsoft Word? Microsoft Word. It's a word processing. And database program, what is this? SQL, SQL or MySQL. These are database programs. Uh, graphical program, I think your CAD drawing and all comes under graph program. Question number, so the answer is OS. Question number 27. How many different states does a 5 bit asynchronous counter have? Asynchronous counter means it's a ripple counter. It's a ripple counter. A ripple, ripple counter. Okay. So if you have how five bits, five number five, five flip flops are number of flip flops. Number of flip flops. Five flip flops we have. Well, you can write it as n states. Number of states. Number of states equal to two to the power n. So how many states are there? Five to the power no, two to the power five, which equal to thirty-two. Thirty-two states. So the answer is option B. Shifting a register content to left by one bit. Left left shift. Left shift equal to left shift. This is multiplication by 2 a right shift a right shift a right shift equals divided by 2 so the answer is option c question number 29 a full order can be implemented by the following gates this is a full order half order you know Half order we all know, half order simply we will draw it. Anytime anybody asks, we will draw what is half order, correct? This is input A, B. And we will get the sum here. It's a carry. It's a carry. So if you carry will get so we have one xor gate and one and gate similarly for a full adder circuit we can just double it two xor gate two and gate one more or gate required one more or gate comes here or gate or gate okay one more or gate one more or gate we need to give the two carries so this is a full adder diagram full adder so what is the answer? So the answer is 2 XOR gate, 2 AND gate and 1 OR gate. Option A. Question number 30. When the, when the 8051 is reset and EA line is high, EA line is high, the program counter points to. So now normally what happens, we have a 8051 microcontroller. Nowadays, most of the programs comes with 64 KB memory, 12, 16, good amount of memory is there. Uh, there is a pin called EA bar pin. EA bar pin is, is there. Uh, this, normally what we will do, we will configure, we will connect like this. We will connect to 5 volt. 
if it is connected like this what it will do it will we will not use any external memory internal internal memory built in memory only we use if it is connected like this now the question will read ea line is high but it is actually ea bar then it is then it is low ea bar ea bar no one second when the 8051 is reset and the ea line is high the program counter points to if i am using internal memory of 8051 i will be connecting like this now if i take ea complement ea bar equal to high ea complement that is that is ea bar equal to high ea bar equal to high but actually i'm not saying about ea bar when the 8051 is reset and ea line is high the program counter points to the first program instruction in the it will be either external code memory or internal code memory it, it should be one of these d or it will be in code memory the question is about code memory the first program instruction program instruction will always point to the code memory only which whether it is internal or external that is a question now this is how i will connect ea bar so now ea equal to high that is what he is telling ea equal to high so that means i will assume that something is here our uh, inverter something is there ea equal to high we are giving high here ea equal to high so the answer the answer is option answer is option okay i will come back to this question last okay then we will confirm it. question number 31 the following statement is true in case of a in case of bipolar junction transistor one bipolar junction transistor if you see what is ie in the transistor ie equal to ic plus ib is a relation so the answer is option base current is smaller than both emitter and collector current question number 32 in ce configuration in ce configuration the output characteristics of a bjt is drawn between See, this is the C configuration. We will get output configurations like this. We will draw the output configuration like this. Okay. So, this is the I, IC, and this is VCE. IB equal to constant here. Okay. Constant. We will choose some values, fix it. That is, IB equal to 10 microamps, something like that. So, in C configuration, the output characteristics of a BJT is drawn between IC and VCE. Option C. Question number 33. Which of the following statement is not correct? This right answer is option D. Uh, no, not D. Triac cannot conduct in both directions. This is a wrong statement because triac can conduct in both directions. Question number 34. The linear variable differential transformer transducer that is LVDT linear variable differential transformer LVDT is transducer is a, is a inductive trans, transducer. It is a coupled transformer. It is a coupled transformer kind of thing. So it is inductive, inductive trans, transducer. Question number 35. Which among following is associated with Microsoft Excel? So Microsoft Excel is a so answer is option D spreadsheet. PPT presentation is the PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is the presentation related. Word process is the Microsoft Word. Graphical program. 
uh, it can be any CAD drawing or uh, paint, something like that. Question number 36. Which of the following statement is not correct? Voltmate should have highly high resistance. It is true, true. Ammeter should have very low resistance, true. A shunt should have very low resistance, true. An electronic voltmeter draws appreciable current from source. No, you should know the voltmeter, whatever the measuring instrument, they should draw very low current. And now let me uh, let me uh, tell you. See, we have a voltage source, okay, plus minus. Voltage source has a serious resistance with it. This resistance is low value or high value? Low value, okay, low value. But the voltmeter you will have just opposite, that is high value. Similarly, for a for current um, current source, if we take a current source, we will have a parallel resistance. This should have very high high value. These are for voltage sources. 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 You should remember. If you can remember this, I would just take opposite for the voltmeter and ammeter. So somebody ask you what is the uh, resistance of a current source, then the resistance should be very high. What is the resistance of a voltage source? Then it is it has to be very low. Question number 37. The voltmeter reading in the circuit is what is the voltmeter? How the volt circuit is connected? Two resistors are there. This is grounded. This is one kilo ohm. One kilo ohm, hundred kilo ohm is hundred k, hundred kilo ohm, and another resistor also hundred kilo ohm. And what is the value here? This is five volt we are applied. What is the voltage here? That is the exact same same exact question. Same question is. So how do you this is voltage? If I take V, V equal to what? This resistor R2. This will take it as R2 and this is R1. So R2 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplied by V in. That is the voltage divider rule. If you apply that 100 K, 100, 100 divided by 200 what is 100 plus 100 into v in equal to 5 cancels 5 divided by 2 2.5 volt that is whenever the resistors are same value uh, same value whenever the voltage divider has a same value resistance then the voltage divides equally at the midpoint that is 2.5 volt is the answer Question number 38. Power MOSFET is dash device, current controlled. First of all, any MOSFET, it is a voltage controlled device. So the answer is option C. But BJT is a, what is current controlled device? BJT, bipolar junction transistor. Question number 39. 39. Uh, this is based on the temperature coefficient. So the new resistance of RT equal to given by this equation R naught multiplied by 1 plus alpha T. Now we have to find the new resistance RT at 10 degree Celsius. That is a question. What is R naught? R naught equal to 100 ohm multiplied by 1 plus. What is the value of alpha temperature coefficient value? 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3. What is the T value? T value equal to what is the temperature 10 degrees Celsius. So if we simplify this 100, 1 plus, if you multiply it will come 3.9 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2. This can be written as 100, 1 plus 0. 0, 039 which equal to 100 multiplied by 1.039 which equal to what 103.9 ohm so that is the new resistance value question number 40 this is the last question 
SCR. What is an SCR? See, SCR is like this. One, two, three, four. P and P and P and devices connected back to back. This is an SCR. Okay. There will be anode, cathode. One gate also comes here. Gate. Now, it has got J1. How many junctions? J2. J3. It has got three junctions. The question is what? SCR is uni. SCR is unidirectional thyristor. Uni junction thyristor. It's not as uni junction. It has got three junctions. Bidirectional thyristor. No. It is triac is a bidirectional triac. Bijunction thyristor. No. It is a. It has got three junctions. No. So uh, the answer is. It's a unidirectional thyristor. So friends, all of, thanks for watching. Please share the video with your friends and press the like button also so that I'll make more videos for you. Now we had a doubt. Okay, actually we had a doubt. Even it is confusing me, but we will analyze and check it now. Okay, question number 30. 8051. Now, when EA bar equal to, see, this is the normally how we use this board because this has got mem enough memory so external memory is not usually we won't use now for the new designs from past two three years i think okay now here ea bar is this tiger matter over okay otherwise difficult ea bar or you get confused ea bar equal to high that means ea equal to no. Now, now we will go to the question. When the 8051 is reset and EA line is high, EA line is high, that means it is not taking from the internal memory. It has to take from the external memory only. So the answer is option, option A, external code memory. Why it is external code memory? Because EA he is telling, EA he is telling as low. No, no, no. EA he is telling as high. He is telling EA line. What is the question? EA equal to high. That means EA bar equal to low. But in our normal circuit, we will connect EA bar to high. Then only it will the it will go to the internal code memory first. So it is answer option A is the right answer. So guys, thanks for watching. If you any have if you have any doubt, please feel free to ask. You can ask in the comment section or you could WhatsApp me. Thank you.